How's it going everybody? This is Adam here from Coding Basics and this is going to be a really really short tutorial just talking about variables. In the last tutorial I did about math and Python um, started talking about variables but didn't I didn't really get into specifics about how they should be named what is a valid name and you know good style for naming your variables so that's all I'm going to talk about today. It's a quick tutorial so yeah, here's your third tutorial in Python. Uh, first, open up PowerShell, which, if you've been watching all other videos, has been what we've been using to run Python. And for some reason, PowerShell is not loading. Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, here we go this time. So, type in Python to launch Python. Now, first thing I want to talk about is valid names. Um, so, you can't just have uh, name and then a space. So, just have one called this variable name one. That's not going to work. You can't have that space there. So, I would have to call it name one, no space, set that equal to zero. Next, putting a number in front of a variable, that's not allowed either. Um, you're not allowed to have number first. The first character has to be name or I believe you can use an underscore. I know in other languages you can, I believe you can in Python. Yep. So if I want to do that, I'd put an underscore in front of that. Or, you know, have just a letter in front instead of the number one. So uh, those are two things to think about. Um what are some other things? Uh, there's certain um, symbols I know you can't use. So, example, you can't put the at symbol in there. Um, so, yeah, there's some special characters you can't use. Uh, I'm not going to list all of them, obviously. But um, if you do get an error, it usually points it out pretty... Um, like, if you get a variable uh, error for naming your variable wrong, it points it out. So, right here, it points out the one's the problem. Here, it points out that... Um, okay, well, it doesn't do a good job here, but pointing it out, I wouldn't get that right away. I know it's because there's a one in front. It doesn't really point it out clearly, but... That is the reason why, and uh, right here, it points right out that the at symbol is the problem. So that's all I'm really going to talk about for valid names. Just really no spaces. Numbers can't be first. First thing has to be either a letter or an underscore, something like that. And, um, you know, there's certain special symbols you can't use. Next thing I want to talk about is coding our, you know, variable style. When you're naming your variables proper style. So, um, obviously, I mentioned in the last video, you want it to have some sort of meaning. I had someone in my grade 10 tech class for programming, and his code was very hard to uh, read. So, you know, he had a problem. He would ask me to look at his code because the teacher was busy to see if I could see where his error was coming from, and I couldn't tell what his, you know, I couldn't really tell what his program was doing. Just a very, um, very, you know, simple name that explains what it is. So, my, uh, or, you know, if I create the variable name, that should reflect what's inside the variable. So, name, my name is Adam, so that would be a good variable name for it. Or, you know, if I wanted to do uh, uh, age, that should be, that would be another thing. So, age, I am 19. So, just the name should reflect what's inside of it. Uh, next thing I want to talk about when it comes to properly styling your variable names is sort of using capitals and stuff. Now, uh, when it comes to creating uh, methods as well as variable names, I have all I was always taught, and I have just become accustomed to doing this. Um, making the first letter lowercase. So, for example, my, and then for the second part of it, a, I could say age, so my age. I would then use a capital for the second word to just kind of distinguish the two words, but the first one is lowercase. Um, that's one thing I've just become accustomed to doing, and it's, it's what all my professors have taught me. It's what all my high school teachers taught me. It's just a good way of doing it. Um, so my age 19 
when it comes to naming uh, classes, you probably don't know what classes are. You might if you um, use other computer science languages, but if this is your first computer science language, you don't know what classes are. So I'm not going to explain what it is, but with classes, I like to have both of them, like every word capital. So if I was creating a class called my age, I would make it my age. So you don't know what a class is, so that doesn't really matter to you. But um, that's just that'll come in a later tutorial, and you'll see what a class is. Um, another thing which I occasionally use, um, is just using an underscore to separate words. This is valid as well. So, example, my underscore age. And in that case, I usually just keep all of the words lowercase. So, that is all I really want to talk to you guys about in this video. A really quick one just about naming your variables and, you know, good style for naming them. Um, you know, the good style makes your code a lot more readable, a lot more easier to understand, and just makes it really look better and a lot more professional. And usually when you have one style, stick with it for the entire program. Don't change halfway through. So if I'm going, you know, lowercase um, for the first word and then uppercase to show the start of the second word, don't start using underscores later on in your program. So just kind of find one thing and stick with it. Same as if you're collaborating with a group of people doing a program. All use the same style. Don't try to change it, even if that's not how you're used to programming. Stick with the same style. It makes it a lot more easier, a lot less headaches. So that's all I really want to talk to you guys about. Uh, please subscribe, like this video, and you know leave a comment. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.